former minister for aviation, Fanny Coyote, and Governor Ortom reacted to the statement made by Governor Ortom on how the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar failed to accept Governor Nwike as his deputy for the forthcoming election. During the PDP National Convention, the former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar emerged as the party's presidential candidate after defeating Governor Nwike of Rivers and others. However, many Nigerians had expected Atiku Abubakar to pick Governor Nwike as his running mate for the election, but he opted for Governor Okowa of Delta State despite the popular support Nwike had got from the majority of the party leaders. In light of this, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Ortom, during his discussion with Arise TV, noted that for now he had presently gone into hibernation and he was still praying and fasting to know if God would direct him to support Atiku. But before then, Atiku is expected to do more by reaching out to Governor Nwike, who came second in the presidential election and whom he also denied being his running mate despite having the support of 14 out of 17 leaders that voted in his favor. He noted that in any democratic journey, the majority wins, but since he chose Okowa over Nwike, he should have reached out to members and stated his reason of doing so. Fanny Femi Kayode, reacting to Governor Samuel Autumn's statement, stated that there appears to be fire on the mountain for the opposition party. This is an indication that the party is facing a real type of challenge, which many possible cause problems for the party, which may possible cause problem for the party. I beg your pardon. Meanwhile, Nigerians who have reacted to this are saying that Governor Ortom should not speak further because he is one of the committees inaugurated to see how things go in the uh, PDP. Someone said, Chai, this is too much. It's just too much talk on a serious and a contentious issue. A governor has the clout to Ogada and forward enough evidence on this situation. Okay, instead of all the social media campaign, he says a 200 years of finalization and counting yet Nigerian has not been overrun. But he won't let us rest. Haba, now wow. Someone said, reach out, human, reach out. Reach without human, uh, whatever they are doing. You see, these people they have a way of trying to make sure that Nigerians will continue to bow for them. But this time around, they are going to be surprised that not even APC, not PDP, will win the next election. These are uh, comments by Nigerians and they keep on talking. The former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanikayode, reacted to the statement made by Governor Orto on how the PDP candidate, Atiku Abubakar, failed to accept Governor Nwike as his deputy for the forthcoming general election. During the PDP National Convention, the former Nigerian Vice President, Atiku Abubakar, emerged as the party's presidential candidate after defeating Governor on Wiki of River State and others. However, many Nigerians had expected Atiku Abubakar to pick Governor Wiki as his running mate for the election, but he opted for Governor Okowa of Delta State. Despite the popular support Governor Wiki had got from the majority of the party leaders. In light of this, Governor of Benue State Samuel Autumn, during the discussion with Arise TV noted that for now he had presently gone into
hibernation and he was still praying and fasting to know if God would direct him to support Atiku. But therefore, before then, Atiku is expected to do more by reaching out to Governor Mwike, who came second in the presidential election and whom he also denied being his running mate, despite having the support of 14 out of 17 leaders that voted in his favor. He noted that in any democratic journey, the majority wins, but since he chose Governor Ifan Yukawa of Delta State over Nwike, he should have reached out to members and stated his reasons for doing so. Fanikai Ode, reacting to Governor Samuel Autumn's statement, stated that there appears to be fire on the mountain for the opposition party. The truth is that there is fire on the mountain on the both ruling parties because we, are still, we have still heard how senators are decamping from APC to PDP. It, it's like that. You understand? But the truth is that Nigerians have got to understand what is going on in Nigeria. So they are saying that there is no more, uh, 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 no way again for PDP and the APC because these people, they have failed Nigerians several times, you know, and all that. They are now saying that they are, go they are going for Peter Obi, which is the... Um, the uh, Labour Party's candidate, yeah, the, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. And when you look at it critically, you, you see Peter Ubi Atiku and Bola Tinubu, who is the presidential candidate of uh, APC. Every same person will go for Peter Ubi because he, Peter Ubi, you know, is the only credible candidate among all of them. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.